so can you train yourself to become more optimistic person with all of the health benefits that optimism brings to you that's what we're going to be discussing in today's video this is my name is dr Mikhail rashek of mara genomics and i wanted to launch a new series of videos that explores the science behind how you can train your psychology to become more optimistic the reason why because i made a previous video related to covid 19 that discussed the concept that you can actually manipulate your optimism as an individual optimism is also genetic so you can be born with a certain level of optimism but you can also train yourself to become more optimistic that information was of big interest to me because i find it fascinating because all of the scientific literature suggests that optimism carries enormous health benefits in uh, in particular also improving your immune system so i looked up one of the meta-analysis studies so that means it was a study that looked at the impact of optimism scientific that was published in scientific literature this was 29 papers involving over 3,000 participants in total and that study looked at all of these studies in unison to determine whether optimism can be trained and the outcome of uh, that analysis by those authors was that yes indeed there appears to be significant effect of being able to induce feeling of optimism through specific means so wanted to introduce basically that concept of what how can we train ourselves to become more optimistic and there is variety of different techniques that can be employed to achieve that and when the authors of that meta-analysis looked into how different techniques perform the best performing technique the one that had the greatest impact was what is referred to as best personal self and we're going to talk about that and I'm going to challenge the audience to actually attempt to practice this with me and I'm going to describe to you as to what that is so but in order to actually discuss the best best uh, personal self concept I wanted to go to the roots of its source i.e. basically I wanted to go to the first scientific literature that ever described it so that concept of best personal self was introduced only in 2001 by a psychologist and I apologize about the noise in the background but I uh, wanted to show you the beautiful canyon behind me and the concept was introduced by a psychologist called Laura King only in 2001 and what that particular lady was describing is that the concept of writing can promote people feeling better this was very well understood in psychology there is a number of, of studies that have demonstrated that and uh, this was referred to as I believe descriptive writing and the idea behind that is that with this type of writing exercises it's a self-regulatory concept of being able to express your emotions and gain understanding of what your emotions actually mean to you and this is what it's believed that how writing your experiences might result in beneficial effects however she she noticed that uh, this was a psychologist she noticed that historically this type of approach was only utilized with trauma victims and she was curious whether this type of writing could be employed in other arenas away from just those who experience trauma so can writing be of any kind 
induce positive effects and she came up with the concept of best personal self in order to create a, an idea of what could you write that would not induce negative emotions the way this is normally employed in uh, in uh, trauma victims where they have to write about their past experiences because the concept with that type of exercise is that of course when you relive your trauma you experience negative emotions so what she did in her experiment she came up with a concept of creating a writing where a bunch of college students wrote about their trauma experiences and then there's another group of college students that wrote about best personal self and I'll explain that in a moment as to what that what that really means and then finally there was also a control group which was a bunch of students just wrote about their daily tasks mundane boring stuff and there was also a group that wrote both about trauma and best personal self and basically the best personal self is the concept of writing how can you describe yourself in a best personal image you can possibly imagine and I'm going to tell you what the exercise was hopefully this is not too loud behind me because there is a there's a raging river going on <laughs> right behind me and uh, what was discovered is that what she discovered that the, the pers best personal self description this exercise the individuals who participated in that exercise did very well so they did experience positive outcomes in that their mood improved they had uh, they had enhanced psychological well-being they also had, were the least likely to become sick afterwards and uh, overall their challenge was similar to those who wrote about trauma but so I meaning that they still found the exercise challenging emotional difficult but it did not evoke any negative negative feelings so I have to be careful here because I'm close to the cliff and uh, basically it this it allowed the discovery of the concept that you could actually exercise writing about your best personal self description you could imagine and that can boost your positive feelings feelings of being optimistic and that has since been adopted as one of the leading mechanisms of how you can train your optimism and the exercise is actually very simple so and I wanted to introduce this to you and I actually wanted to invite you to try this and if you're brave enough if you're courageous enough please please write about your experience in the comments so you can you can basically do the exercise with me and you can leave it in in the comments the exercise that she did in 2001 with her students all of these students had to do it for about four days and that's it it was only a few days and there were there were significant improvements in the well-being for those who imagine their best personal self so now I'm going to pull out my little notes and tell you what the exercise actually was and this these are the wordings that basically the students had to attempt when they were going to do this exercise so here it is this is how the description for the students was given to them and this is the concept behind how you can practice the, the best personal self description which can improve your optimism if you do this regularly often enough and I will try to find out in my continuous studies on this topic how often you need to do this because it probably requires more than four days so think 
about your life in the future. Imagine that everything has gone as well as it possibly could. You have worked hard and succeeded at accomplishing all your life goals. Think of this as the realization of your life dreams. Now, now write about what you imagined. That's it. That's the exercise behind the concept of best personal self that apparently it's this type of writing exercise that is one of the well well studied and characterized methods of how you can improve your optimism so please go ahead write this in in the comments below if you like to participate apparently training your optimism as i mentioned can genuinely improve the outcomes health benefits for you to such a degree that it can extend your lifespan and this is one of those benefits is also believed that it has to do with improving your immune system which is why i am particularly interested in this let's see if we can get these gorgeous views still for you and uh if you're willing try to do it on multiple occasions so try to see if you can do this several times in a row and uh, I will be making more videos just on the concept of optimism because uh, as I continue to study this concept, a psychological concept, because my goal is to see how we can actually intervene by ourselves and being able to improve our uh, immune system performance. All right, so that's for, that's for uh, this video. I'm looking forward to more and hopefully you will uh, continue checking out these concepts and these videos with me. Now, if you uh, stayed with me to this point, I wanted to let you know about few concepts, few ideas. So first of all, I have a COVID Q&A event coming up. And these are basically events that I answer COVID related questions posed by the audience online. And then there's open mic to the audience so you can ask any questions. A lot of the times now the audience also talks about intervention methods oftentimes what the audience is interested in is natural medicine that could be in boosting your immune system so a lot of the times the audience brings those ideas themselves so this is not something that i necessarily research but i occasionally also research some of the science behind it if requested by the audience if you want free tickets to this then the first 10 people who subscribe to merogenomics newsletter after this video, we'll send you free tickets. The link to the newsletter subscription is in the description below. We also have another event coming up. This is for business owners who would like to uh, introduce a program wellness package to their employees where me and two other experts, financial expert and mental health well-being experts get together to talk about the most holistic, proactive pro well-being program we could develop because we do it from different arenas of life. So that's obviously finances, mental health, and I take care of physical well-being with a twist of looking at how you can look at your genetics to improve your future well, physical well-being. And then finally, I also wanted to invite you to check out the survey that I, ongoing survey that I have about epigenetic biological aging clock, because this is a service that I am now introducing, where basically you can test how you age biologically in relation to your chronological age and these are not necessarily the same. You can age faster than your chronological age or you can age slower. And you can actually do interventions, including the type of intervention that we're describing in this video, and that can actually have an impact on your biological aging. So you could, in theory, influence how you actually age. And a lot of that has to do with your immune system functioning as well. So please check it out if you're interested in this type of service. We have a survey going on so we can collect information and though for those who might be interested. So I just wanted to let you know about, about all of these uh, concepts, all right? And uh, if you like this video, please give us a like, share this co content with those who you think might benefit from this type of exercise on being able to train yourself to become more optimistic. I'm highly interested in this because I want to do this for myself, obviously. I, I do want to become more optimistic myself. And uh, share the video, give us a like, leave a comment, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, everyone.